My name is Samson Cinco and I've been dancing for 15 years. My name is Monty Cinco and I've been dancing for six years. My sons danced before I did, so I was encouraged by my sons and I too learned Quintin pipe stems routine coming from the Tsutsuna Nation and dancing with 30 hoops, did my own routine. Hoop dancing was originally a, a healing dance and I feel very fortunate to be able to hoop dance because it has taken us many places throughout the world and we get to share some of our culture and some of our dances with other people. We are shooting hoops. Okay, not every hoop, but Native American hoop dancers. And uh, uh, the Friends of Arizona Highways put together a very, <laughs> very quick workshop with three photographers. Paul Marco is, uh, he's our commercial photographer, and he's doing sort of a study in opposites, things that might not be expected in terms of backgrounds with Native American dancers. Leroy DeJoli and I have stayed here on the Heard Museum campus. Leroy is emphasizing mostly portraits, some artificial lighting, some man-made lighting, and, um, and some natural lighting by use of the architecture and the natural light that falls here. I'm emphasizing more on the dance itself. I'm trying to help people with what they might see in an actual hoop dance, where you can't really control the situation, you can't uh, use artificial light, you can't use reflectors, you can't change the time of the performance or anything like that. You just, what you see is what you get. Culturally, it's wonderful, but the costuming, it's a combination of, of, of costuming and, and really the, the, the music and the dance. I, as I watch the different dancers, starting from uh, our youngest one here today is four years old, and she's really quite amazing and brilliant. And then I watched her mom dance, and her mother's footwork is just spectacular. And then some of the uh, more well-seasoned males, it's more like power dancing. You know, it just, there's a strength to it that's different. So it's really fun to see the combination of, of rhythm, movement, costume, and again, culture. There's many origin stories, depending on where we come from as native people, but the, the origin story that we uh, heard was that the dance originally came from Taos, New Mexico. A uh, little boy would do the dance, his grandfather would sing for him. They said every time he passed through the hoop, he was adding a day onto the sick person's life, so many people would uh, come to be healed. So still today, we like to take this dance throughout the world because many people do need healing, whether it's a natural disaster or man-made event. Many people don't share the conveniences that we have here in our beautiful countries. Mm -hmm.